Hello, today I'm going to be taking a look at Deepcool's latest air cooler, the AK620, which shows a lot of promise because it has some high-end specs, but only a medium-end price. And we're going to be seeing if it can compete with the best air coolers that money can buy. So over the last few years, when I've had a high-end air cool build to do, I've relied on two coolers, Noctis NHD15 and Bequat's Dark Rock Pro 4. And both of these coolers have their own individual advantages and disadvantages. If you want to go with the best that our cooling has to offer in terms of temperatures, I don't think anyone's going to argue for you, Noctis NHD15 is the way to go. If you want to go with premium cooling but incredibly quiet, it's the Dark Rock Pro 4 that you would go for. In terms of looks, I think the Dark Rock Pro 4 looks much better um, to me. And in terms of case compatibility, because it's got this metal plate on the top, you're going to always know it's going to fit if it meets the specs. With the NHD15, I've been surprised a few times. Um, looking at the specs, it should actually fit. But once you've raised this front fan up above the RAM, you can't actually fit sometimes the side panel back on again. So like I say, this is what I have been using over the last few years and been really impressed with both of them. Depending on the individual situation, I'll go for one over the other. Now, Deep Cooler have released a new cooler. It's the AK620, and I've already done an unboxing and overview video of the cooler where I've shown you how to install it. So I'm not going to go through all that again. If you want to get a closer look at the cooler and see how to install it, you'll find a link to that video in the description. The one thing I didn't do in that video, and the reason I'm making this video now, is that I didn't actually cover the thermals. And since I made that unboxing installation video, Deep Cool have asked me on a number of occasions, would I consider checking out the thermal potential of this cooler? Because they've told me it's really good. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be comparing the thermals to the Noctua NHD15 and the noise levels to the Beatquat Dark Rock Pro 4. So if it can beat either of these coolers in their own best categories, then we've got a new king of our coolers. So in terms of the testing, I used an Intel i7-12700K on an open test bench. There was no overclocking done, and the CPU coolers all ran on the standard motherboard fan curves. I recorded both the minimum CPU temperature while the PC was idling in Windows with no programs running in the background, and also the maximum CPU temperature during a 10-minute IDA64 stability test with all the components in the system being stressed. As well, I measured the average noise levels both in idle and during the IDA64 stability test at a distance of 30 centimeters from the air cooler. As well, it's important to say that ambient temperature was controlled to 20 degrees during the testing. Taking a look at the results, in terms of temperatures, the AK620 performed really well, giving us exactly the same idle and low temperatures as Noctua's NHD15. Both of these coolers outperformed the Dark Rock Pro 4 by 3 degrees and idle, and 5 degrees under load. In terms of noise levels and idle, there wasn't really any significant difference between the coolers, with Noctua's NHD15 being one decibel louder than the other two coolers. There was, however, a very significant difference during the IDA64 stability test, with the Dark Rock Pro 4 showing its advantages with only 35 decibels of noise. The NHD15 was 5 decibels louder than this. The AK620 was a whopping 10 decibels louder than the Dark Rock Pro 4, and 5 decibels louder than Noctua's NHD15. So summing up our results, the AK620 gave us exactly the same cooling as Noctua's NHD15, although it came at 5 decibels of extra noise under load. The AK620 also performed the Dark Rock Pro 4 in terms of cooling, although that was at a whopping 10 decibels of extra noise. So putting all that together, your first assumption would be that in terms of the best cooler, it can't actually beat the NHD15, although it gives similar cooling results, it did so at extra noise. And again, in terms of the quietest premium cooler, the Dark Rock Pro 4 is still keen here. So this leaves this cooler in a little bit of an awkward position because it doesn't beat either of the other two in what they do best. But where it does beat them is in the price. So I've taken a look on Amazon today and you can pick up the AK620 for less than £50 with a free mouse mat. The Dark Rock Pro 4 will cost you round about £75. 
while the NHD 15 is around about £90. So factoring in the price, if you want the best cooler in terms of cooling potential, I would still go with Noctua's NHG 15, because it's going to give you similar cooling to the AK620, but at lower noise levels. If you want the absolute quietest premium cooler, the BeQuiet Dark Rock Pro 4 is the one you should go for. But if you want to get the best value for money in terms of a premium air cooler, the Deepcool AK620 is the one to go for. And when you consider it's almost half the price of the NHD15, you're getting incredibly good value for money, as well as an incredibly good cooler. Um, there's also the option to actually reduce the maximum fan speeds, so you can actually bring those high noise levels down um, closer to the other two cutters. Um, people often ask me which cutter would I recommend, and I think it depends on what's important for you. For me, noise is the most important thing, so I would go with the BeQuiet Dark Rock Pro 4. It is without doubt my favourite air cutter. Um, it's a little bit tricky to fit in some cases because you have to actually install the cooler and then slide the middle fan in, um, which does limit how you can install it and make it a little bit more tricky to install. But I think it looks stunning. And like I say, the noise is really important to me. Um, if you want the absolute best cooling, um, Noctis NHD 15 is still the way to go. But if you want incredibly good value for money, it's the AK. 620 and it's great to have this new choice in terms of a premium air cooler for not a lot of money so hopefully you have found this video useful if you have please remember to give it a thumbs up if you're not currently subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button as well and i'll see you in the next video